November the 1st. Got in here this morning about an hour before daylight. And uh, it's about 8 o'clock. We hadn't seen a deer yet. Perfectly calm morning, beautiful morning. Uh, we sent a few deer on the way over, but uh, we don't know what's going on this morning. It's a little bit slow. Uh, we've been seeing these deer right at daylight. We saw three shooter bucks on, in this cut cornfield yesterday. Just couldn't get them to come down here to us. We got the decoy out right here, about 20 yards in the woods. We was hoping if anything comes to these woods, maybe he said decoy, we'd grunt him, in, grunt him in, you know, but anyway, uh, it's a little slow this morning. We're gonna see what happens. You never know, it's deer hunting. We're gonna hang in there, we're gonna see. Y'all stay tuned.
perfect six by six, prettiest book I've ever seen in the woods. Prettiest book me and Shane's ever filmed. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's the biggest book I've ever shot. Um, it's been a, a, a crazy morning. We didn't see no deer till about 8, 8.30. And this buck come out <clears throat> about 150 yards. I hit the grunt call. He come over here, there was a little eight pointer come out over here. He run that buck off and he seen the decoy. He came in right here, was within, he was 20 yards, but I couldn't shoot him, I just didn't have a shot. And I just had to wait. He would not go over to the decoy. He turned and was coming back. And I had held the bow as long as I could hold it. I just couldn't hold no more, literally. I, I held the bow on this deer for 10 minutes. I mean, it, it seemed like 10 minutes. So he was looking kind of dead at it, so I shot him right kind of to the corner of the shoulder. <clears throat> um, I don't like it shot, but I was at the point, it is perfectly calm, there's no wind. I was at the point I couldn't hold no more. If I would have let down the buck, would have seen me. I mean, it was do or die. And I was done starting to get the shakes. Uh, this is just a monster buck. We filmed him yesterday. Didn't know we'd get a chance at him today. <laughs> wasn't expecting it, was you, Shane? I wasn't expecting it. I just wasn't expecting it, but uh, he is a hoss. A perfect six by six. Definitely over 170. He's a boner, no doubt about it. But uh, he went over this finger he come from. And I, I was watching through the binoculars. It looked like he laid down. So we're going to give him about two hours for sure. We're going to give him plenty of time to expire. Uh, there ain't going to be much blood. But he shot, uh, no doubt, in the heart. I mean, it, it's a heart shot. The deer's, uh, deer's going to be dead. There ain't no doubt about it. It's just going to be how long. So we're going to definitely give him a couple hours. But Shane, is that amazing, man? Amazing. Amazing hunt this morning. Best, hands down. We started out a little shaky over here in Pike County, but uh, that buck right there is going to make up for it. There ain't no doubt. That's, that's the prettiest buck I've ever shot for sure. Son, I love you. Love you too, boy. Whack them and stack them, baby. All day. Yes, sir. This is the best book I've ever shot out of a tree stand, period. There's no doubt about it. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Mass is unreal. Tines is unreal. I mean, this is just, this is what you dream of shooting. This is what you dream of shooting. A perfect six by six. He's got a kicker off this eye guard we didn't see. Oh man, Shane, son. This is sick. It's a sick bump, boys. I'll tell you. Whack them and stack them. We got on the board big time this year, boys. Why can't we get close enough? Tear down those walls we keep building up. Why can't we get close enough? Time for bragging time now, boys. Time to go to camp and start doing some bragging. Whack them and stack them, stop.